Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, thanks for tuning in. This is your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. Um, we'll be interpreting some cards from a couple of decks here and we'll see what's coming up um, in terms of what you may be dealing with with a significant other. So this can be for any sign watching and I do hope this reading is going to be helpful for you. Um, in your current love situation. Let's lay out some cards and see what the foundation is for what's going on. Okay, destiny's at play here. We've got the sign of Aquarius. Um, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. There's two queens that have come up. Okay, so there's a choice. I reckon there's a choice coming up for your person. Okay, they're choosing between two different people. Um, and they're in a bit of a I almost feel like they can't see clearly with the Eight of Chalices. This this wind is like blocking their vision. So I feel like this person is very tunneled vision right now and they're not seeing the bigger picture. Okay, there's not much clarity. Um, and the Star card can be an intimidating card. So I'm getting straight off the bat that there's someone who is super uh, super intimidated by your energy. Okay, your, your looks, the way you carry yourself, you know, you've got it going on. This person really doesn't know how to... Um, how to maneuver themselves around you. They don't know, they don't exactly know what's the best course of action. Um, that's the vibe that I'm getting. Okay, so straight away, a lot of intimidation. So they see you as the star. So this it's almost like they know you're out of their league or they know they're punching above their weight. So um, you know, I don't feel like they're feeling overly confident about about um the connection and proceeding forward. Um the Queen of Swords is like the beak is shut, so like this person is being silent. Maybe you make them nervous. Maybe they get super quiet around you. Uh, but there's a reason why that's going on. There's a reason why that's happening. Um, so I, I'm getting the vibe that, yeah, it's just this kind of energy that there's a lot going on here, but they're being tight-lipped about it, okay? So they're not revealing too much at this stage. I think intimidation is really big. They're not revealing too much about themselves because they possibly aren't ready. Four of Wands reversed. They're not ready for a relationship just yet. They want to see thing, how things go. They're trying to keep an open mind about things at this stage. Um, but again, they could be choosing between two different people. The Fool is here, which is kind of good that it's reversed. I reckon this person is not... I don't feel like they may have been played before and now it's like, okay, it's choosing between you and choosing between someone else. And it's like, all right, I'm going to go with whoever I feel more comfortable with. I'm going to go with the person that, you know, it's something that they're waiting on, I feel. They've got an attraction to both. But I wonder if, I wonder if they're super confused, they're intimidated and their lack of commitment, four of ones reverse, so their lack of commitment to a relationship or to becoming exclusive. Um, yeah, that kind of energy is sort of speaking volumes, I feel. Um, about how they really feel. Let's see what else comes up in the cards. Okay, a few cards. Ten of Cups reversed. They're not thinking about the future. Um, or they don't see a future with you at this stage. Doesn't mean that won't change. Ten of Pentacles is also reversed. I don't know. I get the vibe that I, this person isn't wanting anything long term. Or if they have come out of something long term, that's probably why. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is like cycles. So I'm getting with the Ten of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles. Um... They've either coming out of a heavy-duty relationship, something quite serious, or the person they were with before um, is demanding something quite serious, and they're not in a position to offer that right now. So it's like, I almost feel like you may feel like you're an option, or you feel like this person has someone else, and you might even be tight-lipped about it and, and not saying anything. You much prefer to observe their actions and see who they choose more than anything else. We've got Libra here. Libra has come up as well. So two air signs, actually. Aquarius, Libra, and then we also have um, Aries, the Fool. Mm. 
Why are they not ready? Let's have a look. The Empress, the Moon. Okay, they're still attached to the past. The Moon and the Six of Cups has come up next to this person. One of these queens could be an ex from their past they're still attached to emotionally. And, you know, you can't break this connection. They obviously have some sort of history together. Now, it doesn't mean that this person is set on going back to the ex. I think they're considering it. Um, I feel like with the Moon and the Six of Chalices, it might be a recent ex, okay? Especially if this is recent, chances are the emotions towards what this Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine feels towards the ex is, is still quite um, quite real, quite raw. So it's like they haven't they haven't processed those emotions. They haven't dealt with those emotions. Um, yeah, that's the, um, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. They haven't processed them. They haven't dealt with them, um, with the ex properly. And I reckon it's probably one of these queens coming up. You know, the moon is like when we're still attached to the past or when we're still emotionally tied up into something or someone. So... But the moon is also like the subconscious. It, if this person isn't committing to you subconsciously, they are still committed to someone else. So I think tread lightly in this situation. But you'll see, if they're Ten of Pentacles, they're not going to want to build foundations. They're not going to build things like trust and loyalty and commitment and all those things. And you'll see it. It'll be a giant red flag. If, on the other hand, they're like open to it, um, that, that is probably a better sign if, if they're more open-minded. Um... But I feel like with the Empress, they're enjoying single life or, you know, they're enjoying having the best of both worlds. Maybe, you know, they're acting single, but they also have you. So be careful you don't fall into that pattern because this person's going to get super, super cocky because of that. They'll see that they have you um, and they can act and do whatever they want and there's no consequences. And you don't want to be breeding and tolerating that behavior. Um... It could also be that they feel rejected. Maybe you've been on a date with them recently or you guys had a serious conversation and you might have even passed a comment like, oh, I don't want children or I'm not ready for marriage or I don't want to live with anyone just yet. You might have passed some sort of comment um, and it's led this person to feel, it's led them to feel like they don't have a chance with you somehow in the future. And then it's sort of like they picked up someone else like as plan B on the reserve. Could be low self-esteem here. I mean, that's why they feel like they need a backup plan in case you say no. But I wonder which queen is the priority here. We've got the Earth Queen and the Air Queen. And I wonder who, which Divine mask, uh, Feminine is the priority. Which one this person actually really wants. Okay, it's definitely a faded connection. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this is a connection that needs to happen. Uh, this person needs to be in your life right now at this stage where you guys are at. Um, okay, Queen of Wands is reversed. Yeah, they're not taking much action. The Empress and Qu King of Swords is reversed. Okay, Queen of Swords is upright. King of Swords is reversed. Divine Masculine is reversed right now. Um, we've got a Divine Feminine who's more interested right now. Okay, so... Probably the ladies out there, you're more invested in this connection as of now. Um, okay, so we have the Empress in this one reversed and this one upright. Okay, between these two people, it's like this person is more attracted to one queen than the other. Especially like feminine energy. So we've got a third queen, Queen of Wands, but she's reversed. Okay, there's a lot of people coming up in these cards. So this person, just be wary, okay? They could be dating, they could be like a serial dater, or they could be dating much more than you actually know. Now, if you guys aren't exclusive, it just could be they're still in a dating app, maybe they haven't had time to delete it, um, maybe they still pick up people, you know? All sorts of things happen when we're not exclusive. Um, but I think the best thing you have to do is observe this behavior. Um, but I think it's something from the past from this person that is coming back, and, you know, we don't want to be the rebound. No, oh, oh, oh. We are not going to be the rebound in a situation. Um, and let me tell you, if it, like I said, if it's a recent ex, it's going to cause problems. And 
You don't want problems from the past interfering in what could be this present connection. It may mean you need to withdraw some of that energy from this person so they can figure some things out. Do you need to withdraw? Okay, the Tower Four of Swords, possibly. We've got the King of Wands. The King of Wands is upright in here. Um, King of Wands is taking action. Okay, do you need to take action to withdraw your energy? The cards are saying yes. That's the withdrawal card. That's the card of taking action. Um, otherwise, the Tower, things could be happening too fast, especially, like I said, if they're not over their ex, you might notice that they're love bombing you, major love bombing going on. Love bombing because they're not over an ex, maybe. All right? But you'll see it, you know, if they're saying, I love you really quickly, if they're moving the relationship really quickly, if you feel like suspicious that they're trying to make someone jealous, you know, they're flashing your relationship too much. Um, it doesn't seem sincere. You know, you'll, you'll know these things. You'll be able to use your intuition. The moon is intuition. You'll be able to use your intuition to know, okay, this isn't legit. Something's going on. This person might not be as sincere as I think they are because the tower is here and the tower acts fast act without, without thinking and we've got all these commitment cards and they're all reversed so they they're not ready to commit and look maybe it's like their past relationship maybe they got burned um could it be tied into the they think they're punching above their weight you're out of their league maybe okay maybe it's like it's safe to be with the ex because it's familiar, you know, they know their routine, they know their body, all those sorts of things. And then you're maybe like the newer, okay, you're a bit mysterious, okay, you're interesting, you're intriguing, but they're not really sure. Maybe they're not sure if you like them or not. Maybe you haven't communicated those feelings and that's why they're a bit unsure. Maybe they're waiting for you to have that exclusive chat and say, you know what, like, where are we, where are you? Where is this going? Or, you know, how do you feel about how things are progressing? It could be in some way that they're waiting for you, um, okay? All right, yep, yeah, Nine of Wands with the Star card again. Nine of Wands there. They may have trust issues with you or they have trust issues from their ex. Okay, that's a whole lot of can of worms we're opening up here. So this is baggage from the ex that they're bringing in. They're trying to work through it. They're trying to heal, with, heal it through the Star card again, Aquarius Energy. Um... But I think from what I'm seeing with the Nine of Wands, it's like a, this kind of energy is, how do I say, they're sort of testing the waters with you. They're still unsure. They've got reservations, but they're love bombing at the same time. So what are they getting out of this love bombing you? Possibly leading you into a connection here, but not actually being able to deliver the goods. Mm, okay, that's something that you're going to have to find out and sort of gauge for yourself here. Again, I'm going to say use your intuition, um, but there is some major healing. Healing has come up twice for this person, so there is some major healing that needs to happen before this connection can move forward. Is there potential? Yes. The star, the wheel of fortune is here. Um, the Empress, so I feel like there is potential in where you guys are at right now, but I feel like this person needs to heal from their ex or they need more time to go out there and reconcile, you know, with what happened with the ex. They may still miss them. They may still think about them. They, you know, the, the connection might be still quite strong for them. So they haven't had enough distance to sort of, you know, withdraw some of that emotional energy. So maybe you withdrawing that emotional energy can help in some way um, because, you're going to put things, you're, you might put the break on things and that might work out better. Okay. And it might protect you. We want to protect ourselves when we jump into these situations. So protection is very, very important. I will leave it at that. So thank you again so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, much love to everyone and hopefully we'll be in touch tomorrow. So take care and bye for now.